Yeah, I mean, I saw a headline in the Telegraph like, like last week that said, "We have to take out Putin to make Europe safe." And it's just like it's like it just don't under, the contradiction in that headline is like we have to go to we have to wage a huge war to make ourselves safe. It's just so it, levels of absurdity are just like mind boggling. Yeah, like in Vietnam, we had to destroy the village to save it. Yeah, but it's just I mean that go that goes back to to uh Roman history, you know, like the they would say we we pacified these people, right? We made them peaceful. How'd you do that? Oh, we massacred them. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. We pacified them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, number nine. This is interesting, too. There is no struggle for life, but rather life is lived for struggle. And, and therefore, pacifism is trafficking with the enemy because life is permanent warfare. Yeah. Now, I mean, that's super relevant now, right? Like anyone who talks about de-escalation, not, not just let's... We don't have to just focus on Ukraine, but anywhere, right? Like, For sure. think back to the Iraq War, right? Like, uh, I don't think there's a good reason to evade Iraq. So you love Saddam? <laughs> exactly, terrorist sympathizer. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we should be in Syria. Oh, so you're an Assadist? <laughs> yeah, Assad apologist. Come on, come on. <laughs> you're trafficking with the enemy. Pacifism is trafficking with the enemy. That's a great That's line. A, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the, but also, you know, he says a final solution implies a further era of peace, a golden age, which contradicts the principle of permanent war. No fascist leader has ever succeeded in solving this predicament. Exactly. Right. Like the whole thing is built on permanent warfare. So what happens after you uh, overthrow Saddam? What happens after you destroy the Soviet Union? What happens after you defeat Putin and China and whatever? Then you got to go find a new enemy. No, right? that's when you to start the... eating grapes and and just loving life in paradise. No, it do, it doesn't happen <laughs> after after the yeah. Cold War, right? We were supposed to have a peace dividend. Actually, that was supposed to be after World War II, but then they kicked off the Cold War. Okay, then they stopped the Cold War. Ah, well. Now we got to find a new enemy. Islamic terrorism. That didn't work out so well. Okay, well, let's Russia's shift back. to... Go back to Russia. Yeah, Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Red Scare Trying again. They're Red Scare again. Oh, they're not communists? Well, never mind. People will forget that. They've been primed to think of them as Reds, you know, so... Now they're yeah, just mafia... Funny. To hear more of this and other episodes of texting, go to markwillwright.substack.com.